Hey guys, welcome back to the Brothers Bear Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. If it's your first time, second time, third time, fourth time, or your last. Thank you. I love my part in that advertising. You do. <laughs> and the very last. Let me sit here. All right, we're good. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. I am your host, Sanch, and as always, I am joined by... Carlos Madrano. And Lachuettes, and we have a special guest in today. Yes, we do. Oh my God! Returning guest. Returning guest. Our first returning guest, right? Musical. First musical. <laughs> <returning guest. laughs> nice, nice save there. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All our other returning guests are like, "Hey, what the hell? What the fuck? All right, <laughs> you forgot about me. Forget about a lot." Anyways, rough enough. Welcome back, bros. Yes. Thank you, Thank Thank you for having us back. Thanks for having us. Me. me. Now, Carlos says uh, uh, you what? You guys were our first musical guests, were they? Right? You say that they were our actual first musical guests in in studio or something? Because that was last uh, last year. Um, but freaking or Sounds the ones right. that did more than one song, like I I can't remember because I mean, fuck, we've already <laughs> celebrated three years. We well, hit our our two year. You I'm know? gonna say it was my favorite of all our musical guests. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the 20 later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said it was 50, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, but I'm excited. Nonetheless, you guys play some dope-ass rock and roll. Can't wait uh, for you guys to <laughs> bring the demons out. <laughs> I will have what have you, you know, however, you, however you're down to do it. Um, Carlos? Uh, I just wanted to keep hearing you talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know how excited you were w waiting for this. I'm very excited. The moment I told him, like, hey, my buddies are coming back on the show. He's like, <gasps> which ones? And then I told him, like, the one, the rockabilly, like, <gasps> started imagining this. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I usually have a mic holder thingy, so this time I'm holding the mic. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'm doing a stand up routine again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I guess real quick before everything, um, it would be good to give out uh, a huge shout out. So I guess uh, it'd be wise to do our, our shout outs. And the well, one thing that we want to give uh, a massive shout out to is the. All right, that's why. Perfect. Oh, it's oh. Oh, all low. I know. We always forget. It's always low. <laughs> um, but, anyways, a huge shout out goes out to Heidi Ho Comics for Heidi hosting Ho. us. This weekend we did our our live show, our our very our second live show ever because we did that one uh, in the garage, the, yeah. the, the gig. Uh, but it was our first live show at Heidi Ho Comics. The setup I gotta say was dope. Right, yeah. that's cool. Right, right. They have a clean setup right there. As far as doing other things like uh, bringing artists in or uh, comedians, mm -hmm. like yeah, it was it was pretty swell. Yeah, so a big thank you to Heidi Ho Comics. Heidi also, Ho. Eddie and Kristen, uh, Eddie who does collectors, uh, it's a big thank you to them because I know they're, they're... a big, big thank you to them. And uh, you know, this was the first of hopefully many yeah. live uh, podcasts for us. Well, either. after the event, they said like, "Oh, uh, we would love to guys have you guys do it again." So we got the the invite back to go. So. Not only that, <gasps> you killed the whole night, dude. Right? Killed what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I mean. You had one upset fan in the audience, but aside from that, <laughs> oh, one, yeah. <laughs> one upset fan. I gotta hear this. Uh, oh. Who was that? That one guy when you we started talking uh, crap about Aladdin. <laughs> oh, right, well, that's right. More specifically, Princess Jasmine. Oh, yeah, which Jasmine. Which is hate towards Miss yeah. uh, Princess Jasmine. What a chauvinist pig says this guy. <laughs> 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 you know, walks out. Nah. Um, Muchos thank yous to that guy though too. I'm always gonna remember him. Right. He's gonna be forever <laughs> in my life. <laughs> That one moment, I'm going to give him with my wang, and he was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, we'll be doing a future one. Uh, uh, if you guys aren't there, you completely missed out, especially as we mentioned the topics where Shweddy talked about his hate towards Princess Jasmine, mm -hmm. you know, how Carlos saved the day at a potluck with 
uh, Jack in the Box tacos. <laughs> and, <laughs> and my thoughts on Nightmare Before Christmas uh, not being a Halloween movie. And not only that, uh, everyone missed out on chances of winning awesome prizes. Yes. So. Yeah. So. Too bad. Yeah. Go Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So. Uh, oh, and Tijuana want to. See, that was one thing that we, you know, we should have thought of since we're not really much into uh, sports and very many people are into sports in this area uh the latino crowd loves the dodgers and the latino crowd loves soccer especially mexico so there's two events right there that totally like uh we weren't prepared for or (laughs) (laughs) we didn't prep up for that you know yeah but i mean it didn't affect us in any way so not really but you know it could have been stronger and next time why i keep looking over there the mics uh the (laughs) the videos over there Oh, um, yeah. What, what the hell? I was focusing on that, too. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mic. freaking microphone. <laughs> oh, that's the mic. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. It's, it's the whole time. Uh, nonetheless, yes, they did miss out on some awesome prizes. Yes, and sir. And I hope it was worth it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Although both teams did win. So they I'm did. sure they're like, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> 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 All right. So, so now, since we got, you know, obviously the shout outs of the way, big thank you to Heidi Ho Comics. But now we have the guests in studio, so let's talk about the guests. Because the one thing that I understand is that you guys actually have an EP, right? A new EP, right? So, and that's where you guys are coming to talk about the new music. And yeah, so so share with us what's what's going on now after this year of you guys, you know, first coming in till now, or actually longer. So I, what what's the word? I thought it was a year actually, and then <laughs> I, I get home and I saw that the post was edited. By Robert Moreno. Yeah. I'm like, what did I do? Did I forget a comma? Did I forget something? <laughs> and then I look and, this, and he edited it to two years. I was like, oh, man. That yeah, was two years ago. Oh, damn. Yeah, I what is see? it? I even... See, I was off. Earlier I said, oh, like a year, I guess, right? Or something. Wow, <laughs> two years? Yeah, I guess it was two years ago. And damn. Yeah, time flew by. But, so, um, so much knowledge has come with that, yes. though, as well, right? Of course. <laughs> and much more is to come. Much yeah. more. Um, and this uh, knowledge you guys put into this new EP, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we recorded like, actually down the street at uh, DOB Sound uh, with our buddy Larry and uh, Loaded Bomb Records. Shout out to him. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he, we did like uh, six songs in there really quick, you know, try to bang it out as fast as we can, like, and it took us like a day. And um, it's just trying to get the new sound that we've been trying to develop as a three piece, just with no drums. And it's a little different, uh, mm-hmm. but it also makes us expand more as musicians and mm-hmm. what style details. would that be called um i actually I don't i know you guys know, will, like, like put labels and stuff a like, mix of know. uh outlaw country folks uh traditional style yeah, yeah. roots americana yeah you know. yeah it's a lot of like the the roots like the stuff that really influenced us to play pretty much and trying to bring not really bring it back but you know just play it to have fun and mm-hmm. share it with everyone and um, yeah, that's what the ZP is about, you know, it has six songs. Um, we all sing, you know, so it's it's fun, you know. We're trying to do what we can yeah. with what we have. Plus, I, I feel like we started getting, uh, feeling bad for all the people like, hey, you guys have anything that you can give us? Like, do you have like anything we can listen to? I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... I just have to show up. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so far the response we've been getting from the, from the EP has been pretty good. Yeah. And um, we played our... Sh- our first show in a, in a long time about two weeks ago and the response we got from the crowd was really good you know people were dancing and buying dude, t-shirts I, we have t-shirts now too so. t-shirts and the crowd was like really you know just kind of filling it out because it was something different that they're not used to but they liked it you know and it's pretty good so you guys said you went to the studio and hashed it out real quick mm-hmm. yeah. did you guys have anything prepped up before like as far as yes uh, songwriting or Yes, we did. This time, because I've been in the studio a couple times, and the times I've been in there, I always listen to the CD, and I'm like, man, I could have changed that. I could have mm-hmm. done that, you know, or more ideas started to come to me. So one of the things I wanted to do with this this band is let's record it on our own so we could tighten up and hear what we really need to fix. And that way, when we go in the studio, it's just we already know what we're, we're kind of right. prepared for. And that's what I heard a while back, right? The mm-hmm. your guys when you were first kind of putting it as a demo, yeah, yeah, so, so cause, yeah, because we have a little eight track mixer and you know we just record everything individually and listen yeah. to it. You know, if we don't like something, we oh, that's it. dope, that helped out a lot, man. Took us about what two months, and then that's why it was easy to just hash it out one day, yep, nice. 
Yeah, because when you guys played that for me, it was around in June, right? Yeah, it was like roughly mm-hmm. around June, and then we so, recorded like what is it? Uh, no, it was like August. Yeah, August, yeah. yeah. So. And yeah, we actually I got a couple of copies actually there in the car though. <gasps> <gasps> Ooh, special edition. <laughs> <laughs> Collector's edition. <laughs> yeah, very rare. You get, can you guys number it? Sure. And then sign it? Right? <laughs> yeah. if, you have a certain, if you have a certain number, yeah. You know? Right? Yeah. Less quantities means it's more valuable. Right. There you go, dude. I'm all thinking business right now. Right? Yeah, yeah that's all it is. <laughs> Next thing you know, after this, you're on you're like tour manager. And you're all running. <laughs> we found He's our on fourth a member, suit, right? And everything. He's like, "All right, I got the band here." Woo! <laughs> That's freaking awesome. It's actually, it actually was Sweaty's last day with us. We <laughs> 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 went on tour with Rough Enough. <laughs> I think more of myself as being a a roadie. I think I'd be a better roadie. <laughs> I'll suck you guys off anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that a groupie? Well, not a roadie, right? I meant <laughs> because you're gonna put their speakers together while you're sucking them off, or what? I meant that like metaphorically. Oh. <laughs> you know? Like, like I'll, in spirit. I'll clean your guitars, yeah. In spirit, in spirit. Yeah, in I'll spirit. do whatever like, it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. I'm there for you. And guys. for us, men, that's pretty much what it takes. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we tell each other, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever you need, man, it's rough enough, right? Exactly. Now, since it's been two years, um, uh, for any new listeners, fans who, who don't know, like, uh, real quick, your history. Like, one, how did you guys get the name? The name? Let's see. It came from, it came from Steve. You always wanted something that rhymes. Well, yeah, I wanted something that's catchy. Mm-hmm. You know, and like, it's not spelled correctly. Yeah, <laughs> really cool. I don't know. I thought like Abba Zabba. Oh, okay. you know, it's, you know, it's, just, it's, it's just like a half baked. It yeah. popped in your head. You're watching it. You're like Abba Zabba. Oh, rough yeah. enough, right? Uh, hey guys, I got an idea. You just call them all. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right next to you. I know. <laughs> what? His phone rings. He's like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> no. So yeah. So I thought it was like something you know different, unique, and something that will stand out in a way. Yeah. So I don't know. He's just uh, the rough just came with like kind of like the back attitude that we have into it in a way. And enough is just, I don't know, just random, I guess. Right <laughs> yeah. And that was enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And I feel like based on what, you know, because again, your style of music, I mean, I wouldn't know how to label it. But what you guys do, it seems like. The only way to pull that off, in my opinion, is you guys all have to have hair, man. Because you guys gotta have to have that slick hair and everything, man. I can't be in a band like that. It's like a bald guy. Like, nah, you gotta, you guys are able. Especially you. Look at you, dude. You're all nice and slick. Carlos could pull that. I've seen him do that. No, it's, you, I wear a cowboy hat. I got the bald spot over here. So. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's like, oh, so okay. All right, yeah. There you go. Because like, we have the image right there where you were. So you're on. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Well, there you go. We, we, gotta get, wear. we gotta get black spray paint and like before we show up. Oh. Yeah, that up. That's why way. people always ask me why we wear a cowboy hat. I gotta, I gotta fix this up back here. Can't oh. show it. <laughs> okay, gotta hide it, man. Has uh, the hat ever fallen off while you're playing? Luckily, no. That's why no, nobody knows. It has on the, has, <laughs> it's just revealed to everyone, man. It has come me like at home after a bar, like on the freeway, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just right. <like>, oh shit. <laughs> That's great. That's why I've gone through 30 of them. So, yeah. it's, like you said, a little spray paint in the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you yeah. forget to take it off, yeah. man. Yeah. So, you're like one of those guys that go on, uh, like, a roller coaster and they forget their ha- they have their hat on. <laughs> and, like, you just see the hat. Or look at the sunglasses. They always oh, just... Yeah. See, and I love how you did it because it's not just going to do that. It will, like, that, right? Yeah, and I like love it, that because it's true. Flutter. It does a little, like, flutter, then finally, not just whoop. <laughs> You're like, it's not going to go when it's floating. Like, it's not going. Yeah. And whoo, it's it exactly. <laughs> that actually happened one time. I think it was on uh, one of the rides at uh, Six Flags. I, like, probably three rows in front, and I just see the flapping, and you just see it flapping. <laughs> He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone caught it though. Like, right. <laughs> Good stuff here. Yeah. So, so Good how long stuff. you guys been around doing music? Uh, uh, me and this guy over here, Steve, we've been together for about ten years, and Robert's been with us for about two and a half years now, three years, more or less. Yeah. And we've all been friends for like the last ten years. 
So, so out of high, high school friends, yeah. and all high school yeah. friends. Yeah. So and Carlos. Yeah. Including Carlos, Carlos yeah. yeah. Now, why weren't you in, uh, he, were they like, oh, don't want to talk Carlos, fuck, we don't want him in the band. <laughs> we <laughs> he want to suck his ass. There you go. But, <laughs> you're like, I want to be We got the other brother bear. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm, I'm not rough enough for this. Guy, right? <laughs> like, I know somebody, but not me. Uh, he's going to bring synth and I'm going to bring flowers. <laughs> <laughs> right there, they all have this set up and you're right there with the keyboard. And I was like, hey guys, right? You like it's this It's not sound? even plugged in. It's <laughs> not acoustic. <laughs> I'm just dancing around throwing flower petals and shit. Like, right? <laughs> Fashions. <laughs> so uh, you guys playing bars? Is that where you guys usually play as far as like doing live uh, performances? I would say so, yeah. Yeah, Here pretty and much there, different stuff, you know. Wherever we fit, you know, street, <laughs> festival, <laughs> yeah. uh, bar. Wherever backyard. there's alcohol, people usually <laughs> like our music when there's alcohol. Involved. Really? Yeah. Is it usually like, uh, around an area? Because this is uh, from a year ago. It says Pasadena. We do LA, oh, yeah, oh, Pasadena, yeah, Hollywood, Riverside area. Orange County, yeah. yeah. So yeah. how's the, the bar scene? Like, how are. Well, as far as like you guys playing with other people, do you guys play with other people or do you guys yeah. just play yourselves? Yeah. Other bands, you know, other local bands, you know. Yeah, they kind of fit our style. The same, you know, trying to do the same thing but in their own way. Mm -hmm. um, like we played with the band Inazuma last week. They're a really great Japanese band. And What's the name again? Inazuma. 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 Awesome, yeah. And uh, they're really great. Mm -hmm. And they, they have a lot of like uh, the influences as well, like from the 50s and stuff. And they add that into their style and the other style that they mesh it with is like a guitar wolf style so it's a really guitar wolf yeah the japanese band oh have you, I, no, japanese no, that's you know that track bro it's uh from uh kill bill right they use it in oh kill bill. okay I think i'm I not sure maybe it has like a, a guitar really, solo it's really like, like a well-known one loud and stuff yeah and um yeah so it's it's a really good mix you know and um just whatever bands you know that really like us and bands that we like and most of the times end up being our friends too and just trying to help each other out and mm. get a good crowd and try to support local music anybody yeah. that's local all our friends and stuff i mean we've been around for a good while in different bands so anybody we know anybody we like like you said so yeah like uh this saturday we're playing at la cita in uh, downtown la it starts at five and we're playing with the, the moonlight trio they're mm. a three-piece also but they have drums and they they their style is a lot um of Traditional rockabilly, but also uh, traditional Mexican music. Cumbia. Cumbia. Yeah. So and cumbia billy. And cumbia a little billy. bit of blues, <laughs> too, yeah, rock and roll. So it's, like it's, a it's, it's a good mesh, man. Yeah, man. sounds really, like a real good mesh. They're a really great band to see. They're oh, one yeah. of my favorites. Mm. Big influences. Yeah, so I got to thank you for introducing me. Well, back when, when it used to be Moonlight Cruisers. I still haven't seen them as Moonlight Trio. Dude, they're good. Um, in case you go. No, I'm going to be there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be there yelling. Listen to us! <laughs> <laughs> Just don't bring your synthesizer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a synthesizer, not me. So yeah. from back in high school, where did it lead to what you guys are playing now? Like, there has to be, you know, you guys are in high school, influence of what artists and stuff, and you're like, this is the route we want to go. Or were there other things at first? We started there... playing, like, psychobilly music, like, very hardcore, fast, in your face. and then... Yeah. Now that we're older and we can't play that fast, we play a little bit more slow stuff. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> slow it down a bit. But no, I think we all started in a Psycho Blue band. I started with him in a Psycho Blue band. Robert over here, he started in a Psycho Blue band. So from so. day one, it was it already was, yeah, that. Yeah, it was Psycho. You just, weren't like, okay. Yeah. You so can even understand what I was saying, yeah. So there was no covers, like, hey, let's do some 80s covers, man. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> yeah. It wasn't like that. It was just like automatically. And it was all fast. Yeah. If it was 80s, we did it fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And with the upright bass. And a lot of screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but within time, you know, we just, you know, develop more and try to, like, see, like, that space is a big factor in music, too, you know, yeah. space and time. Yeah, dynamics, too. Dynamics. It's just little, you get kind of tired and, you know, playing the same things over. And, like, and like I said, like, another thing that helps us also is watching the bands that play around us and, you know, that helps us to give idea to get ideas. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a big circle that like, just goes around. And that's the way I see, we see it, you know. And not only that, I mean, I, as, yeah, as long as I've known you guys, I mean, your music, had genre of everything just grew. And you being, uh, Robert being a, ma a music major kind of like helps out. You understand music through, you know, what you've been playing over the years. I met I, you. I was a music major in the know, beginning, yeah. And 
like having more knowledge and then just throwing it all together it seems like it just meshed really well to a mm-hmm. point where where you guys are playing it just it it blows me away now like right. honestly from when you guys played me the demo and then now hearing it for the first time like fucking crazy you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, I mean, without a drummer, uh, we sound a lot more tight knit. Just because if you got a drummer, you really can't hear a lot of the dynamics. But just yeah. because it's uh, two guitars and an upright bass, we kind of got to know our chops a little bit better. So yeah, that's what, like, was, that's what I was going to say. When we became a trio, we can like volume wise, we can hear each other a lot more clear, and we can hear, "Hey, you have messed up. You messed up. I'm okay. You, you know, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I messed up." Vocals were a little bit off on this guy, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, no. But you really hear all the detail, you know. And that's what I think helped us grow, you know, to what we're still growing too. So. And we're still growing because we all got a different background. I mean, I like more traditional style country music. He likes more of like the jazz type of deal. And over there, he likes more of the uh, more... I don't know. What would you say? <laughs> like, I want to hear what you got to say. He, he, he like, well, he's always changing his mind. He likes a lot of... He likes to experiment with music. So it's always pretty fun when he brings in a song or Robert brings in a song and then I try to country it up or... I don't know. It's just it's just rough enough. That's how we explain our style. It's, we don't fit... We fit in with a lot of bands because it's, we're all a mixture of different stuff. So I love that. It's yeah. just like, oh, what's your style? We're rough enough. We're rough enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, we're rough yeah. enough. Now buy a CD I so you can that. hear what we sound yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> or go to a show, cool. buy a CD, go to a show, and that's what we sound like. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then well, our fans who are watching live will be able to see your or hear your style huh? of what it is because you guys are gonna when we're gonna be going to break in a little bit. We still have time, but you guys are gonna be doing like a little in studio show for us, like a little concert for us. So that's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna do um three songs, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be part of the the next EP that we're gonna try to work on. And the next EP is we kind of did a big idea on it. All right, and. Uh, it's, it's a concept songs. album. It's a concept. So we're gonna Fuck, dude. each That's of us are gonna play a character, and with song in each song that we sing, and it's all gonna become a story. Mm, and it's, it's gonna be just like the first chapter of I don't know how many. Shit, dude. So mm. the first, uh, so yeah, the first three songs is just gonna be like an introduction of like what we're gonna do, like of who we are. So in it's this like story. all these different. There's gonna be like future chapters of a story. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, it's going to be an evolution of a story. It's a uh, roughing yeah. ups, uh, yeah. trapped in the closet. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> it's, their, it's their version of trapped in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's that? Uh, you know, R. Kelly, remember? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can start singing about some some fan who who's from a podcast that wants to suck you off. And you <laughs> yeah. Collects throw flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Except we don't pee on anyone. Anyway, so. yeah. There you go, man. How do you feel that you might be one of their songs? I'm in there. <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Metaphorically yeah. speaking, of course, yeah. And then, like, all right, who's the, uh, I'm sorry, but who's the stand-up, who plays the stand-up bass? I do. Because when you play, I mean, technically, if you think about it, because earlier you said, like, it's a trio, you know, it's like, oh, it's much better without, you know, having a drummer and this and that. Like, don't you slap, like, the, yeah. the thing? So it's technically, a you are. It's, yeah. You are the percussionist it's in the like, sense, yeah. right? Because you, you're the already, backbeat, the backbone right? of the... Yeah. And I like that because it's cool. It's because it's like fuck it. It's like you know you're playing it and and one I I, I said it last time. And I think that that instrument is awesome. Like you know, um, because it's just fucking badass. You know, like I for me I was introduced to that when I heard when I was younger the Ren and Stimpy theme. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be like, what the fuck? What is that? You know, yeah. and I I remember and and learning that how it was played. And from then I always thought that instrument was really interesting. You know, so it's fucking cool that you play it, dude. It's Thank you, man. Like, and yeah. then now without a drummer, I mean, I gotta step my game up since I'm the rhythm. I gotta be his other half and try to introduce a little bit of the percussion too so yeah right on that's a lot fuller sound now <laughs> that's fucking awesome all right well actually all right so we got a little bit of time so all right ladies and gentlemen when we return we're gonna return with rough enough and they're actually gonna do three songs back to back never done that before and and i think it's exciting because they're just gonna fucking let you guys play it out and yeah. it's gonna be uh it's, it's gonna be fun so i'm glad you know uh, we'll be able to hear their style if you're wondering what rough enough is, basically, Get right? Your pedals ready. I'm nervous for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So when we return yeah. more with Woo. rough enough in studio with the Brothers Bear Podcast live on Rat Radio Network, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! We'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, this is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Uh, we're gonna come back, so please come back. Yo. 
Located in Monrovia, California, Mount Sierra College prepares highly skilled graduates for careers in management, information technology, media arts, and game arts. Transfer earned credits or start right after high school and earn a bachelor's degree in four years or less. Combine industry-driven, hands-on small classes with your general education units. Mount Sierra College. Invest in yourself. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. It's hot out here. I need a drink. Have a mucho macho michelada. What's a michelada? Michelada is a Mexican Bloody Mary made with beer. All you have to do is get bucket-sized michelada, open it up, pour it in your favorite beer, and you're good. What if you don't like beer? You can use it in lemon-lime soda, vodka with lime, or tequila with lemon-lime soda. Sounds delicious. Where do you find it? You can find it at your favorite store, or you can go to muchomachomichelada.com. Find us on Twitter and Facebook. ...that needs to get noticed, your ideas need a great website. And at Infuse, we build simple, clean, and efficient websites. We believe that even the wildest ideas should come to life in a beautiful way. We build responsive sites, e-commerce sites, and even help with business email setup and search engine optimization. Every great idea needs a great website. Start your new look today. Check us out at www.infuse.com. That's www.enfuse.com. Or call us at 800-542-4783. Again, that's 800-542-4783. Infuse, we get it done. A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AJR and Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AJR and Associates, making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www.hrrealtors.com. With a track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. Prote Carpet Tile and Care provides professional cleaning services for carpet, tile, grout, upholstery, and fine area rugs. Protec technicians are professionally trained and certified cleaning and restoration experts. We specialize in restoring damage caused by heavy soil and odor. We can remove challenging spots such as coffee, tea, ink, gum, wine, and many more. We have saved our customers thousands of dollars on new flooring and furniture expenses with our advanced cleaning processes. Call for a free estimate at 562-447-4300 and visit us on our website, www.myprotectsite.com. Hey, this is Joe Perez, owner at Protect. Just reminding you that Protect Carpet and Tile Care is your professional choice. Do we have your attention? When it comes to tequila, two things matter, heart, and passion. Never compromising integrity for mass production. Number one, tequila delivers the goods. Taste the heart and passion of Mexico in every bottle. We make it right. We make it fun. Superior tequila. There's only number one. There's only number one. There's only number one. Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. We are The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Make sure to check us out every week at the3guysrant.com. And you'll find out why they say we're faces for radio and voices for the deaf. Damn right. Have you seen your stuff lately? Hey, I'm audio candy. All right. Always tune in each week so you can hear the really absurd news and talk with The Three Guys Rant. Arvin, how do they reach us? 
Call us at 855-69-3-GUYS. 855-69-3-GUYS. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Brothers Bear Podcast live on the Rant Radio Network. Don't go anywhere, kiddies. You wouldn't want to make the Joker sad, would you? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brothers Bear Podcast. And now it is time for Rough Enough. Oh yes. Let's do it, guys. All right, we
California. Where is all your gold? California, I'm here to take control. Staying up.
That shit was fucking dope. Thank you. I'm like speechless right now. Sorry, we didn't play some more time blues this time. <laughs> 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 yeah, gotta, you can't remember that shit. We were trying to do that one. Sorry You're about like, that. Hey, no, summer time blues, man. Summer time blues. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. I just threw you guys out there. Yeah, and the transitions into the song, like I, that's that's that that's was beautiful. Yeah, yeah that you. shit was beautiful. We only tried that today. <laughs> you guys haven't worked on that, or no. really? That's the first time you guys. That ever was the done first that? time today, actually. We've oh. done it a bunch. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Exclusive, right? <rate. laughs> no, the transition uh, to the songs. Oh man, that was that was beautiful. That's like a. That was perfect for what we were just trying to do right now. <laughs> like three songs in a row, I wasn't thinking it was going to end up that way. And then when uh, you two changed uh, uh, song two and three, I was like, hey, this is fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you guys usually play it? Uh, we worked on it all morning. Yeah. All right. we're, li- we're watching a bunch of doo wop Temptation stuff. How they do. <laughs> I was going to bring down the rain and he was going to open it up. But <laughs> we just started a shuffle. So, yeah. That's bad. Beautiful <laughs> sequence. Thank you. Yeah, it was it was awesome to capture that to be able to be in studio and just be able to like get a little bit of it and just see how you guys work as a as a trio and everything. So that was amazing. And then you Thank just you. again, dude, just <laughs> wailing on that shit, dude. It's fucking badass. Yeah. I love it. It's it's awesome, man. You so, want to make my brother cry if he still know the Ren and Snippy thing? Dude, you, you, you yeah. play, <laughs> cry, just do that right now. I'll be crying the rest of the show, dude. <laughs> and follow up with Summertime Blues. Huh? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Stand up, you start dancing. Yeah, fuck yeah. Summertime Blues. And it's what a do all for you. Oh, and then, yeah, yeah, there you go. You get one, all three of us in a row. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what were the names of those songs? Um, the first one I wrote, it's called My Land, My Home. Mm. And then the second one he wrote. Mm. Which is uh, what's it called? Cal- <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, California, Gold. California Gold. California Gold. And mine's uh, 45. 45. Yeah, 45. Yeah, so like, and all three songs are gonna be in the EP, eh? Yeah, and the new one, the next one. The next one. Up. And yeah. this, as I was mentioning earlier, is um, all these songs are connected. They're all mm-hmm. like um, it's my character, his character, and then he's like pretty much. I'm the storyteller in the group, narrator. so I tie it together. Yeah. That's fucking bad, dude. Like, are you guys gonna shoot something with this though? Like, cause that, uh, like, that, you guys, yeah, we have a different idea, visual, right? right? Like, we have yeah. an idea, but we we're don't we're wanna... thinking about like Actually, a like a like a two live crew type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, if any ladies out there want to dance in the swimming pool, I mean, that's fine with us. <laughs> it's so. like completely not even the style of the music. You guys are doing something different. All just like wearing, you know, and all ladies like cars and all that shit, and uh, then the music. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, some of that, some of that. That's that's very yeah. cool. That's cool though. I like the whole concept album yeah. thing, you know, mm-hmm. like where you just like, I mean, because like, cops and concept albums are always fun. Like especially, you know, it tells a story and how it goes. I mean, are you guys mm-hmm. planning on doing like a double CD? You know, those tends to be like concept albums or double CDs. But I mean, it's fucking bad. Like you gave us the taste of what you guys have in store. So yeah. that's so fucking cool, dude. I like that. Thank you. And those songs aren't on the demo, by the way. Those are just uh, new, newer songs. That's just a little tease, a little sneak right peek on. To the we next don't want to reveal too much. Yeah. We have something brewing. So, <laughs> but yeah. if you if you want to hear the stuff on the demo uh, and the new stuff, you could uh, live shows. We got that up on uh, Instagram and our Facebook. Yeah. So if you want to hear what we sound like, you just heard it, and you could watch us uh, live at our shows. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday, right? This yes. Saturday, La Cita, five o'clock. We start. It's free. It's free. Everybody it's free. likes free inside a bar. Everybody likes to drink. So <laughs> yeah, free exactly. in a bar, and there might be a baseball game win, sometimes. Win. So <laughs> there you go. If you don't like the way we sound, there's gonna be a baseball game there or something. You never know. <laughs> it's called La- college football. What is it called? La Cita. La Cita in LA. Yep. In La LA. Cita okay. Bar. Yeah, it's in downtown. All right, I'll try. We'll, we'll try to find it. So during the next break, when we pop up, we'll show like the info yeah, on there to where there. it's at. Um, so people watching, they can see like, oh, okay, that's where it's at. I know mm-hmm. where it's at, and so on. All right, cool. So your guys' influences, all right, speak out to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you know, you felt our aura. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like a uh, Clint Eastwood Western, <laughs> you know, outlaw kind of guy. Um, yeah, that's Johnny kind of what Cash. We're shooting for. Yeah, just reminds me of outlaw. Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hank Williams. You, your yeah, your style love- definitely reminds me of Hank uh, Williams. I didn't get no jazz though. Where was the jazz no, at, dude? On this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you were wailing on the the guitar though, man. You had yeah. some good licks, bro. Thanks, man. It's fun. And what yeah. I really like too is that not just one of you guys sing. Like literally, all three mm-hmm. songs you had. You, I mean, it's a concept album, and you guys are your characters. But at the same time, you all 
had vocal like a vocal mm-hmm. track instead of you know you taking all three or one of you just switching up but it was literally all three of you yeah that's you know? what makes it fun and exciting i mean if you don't like the way i sing hopefully you like the way one of these guys <laughs> sings so there, there's a there's a one in a three yeah. shot you like you know yeah. like how one of us sings so well like you guys were saying it's about dy- dynamics and that's that's one very swell one i was like mm-hmm. just impressed by that shit yeah. and no. that must be hard too because it's like fuck, like you guys have to <laughs> Like it's like all right, we're in a band, but each of us fucking have to know how to sing. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, not like we all just like push each other like to yeah. you know become better, better musicians in general. So it yeah, helps. Yeah. In the beginning, I think I started singing about eighty uh, percent of the stuff, and Steve yeah. started to sing about twenty, and then Robert came in the group, and I pushed him to sing. Like he said, we all push each other. So now, when it comes to writing, like like you guys, this is all your guys. Who did you write one song? It's like all right, I want you to sing this, or you wrote your own songs for the. Oh, well, yeah. what's been working is we each kind of write our own songs, uh-huh. and then we bring it and we add to it. You know what I mean? So he'll have an idea, and then we'll take it from there. You know, me and Steve will give our input, our feedback, and it's been working pretty good. I mean, we have a lot of our catalogs growing, growing. Mm-hmm. So and on the demo, the uh, title track is "Loaded." Uh, he wrote the song, and um, I said, "Hey, do you mind if I sing part of the song?" So he said, "Go for it." Yeah. yeah. So on one of the songs, he and I collaborate, and we go back and forth. So like he said. Mm-hmm. We all bring the foundation together, and if someone likes to uh, sing on a song, I don't mind. So that's usually what happens. Steve over here likes putting in, uh, he likes uh, someone singing on a chorus or backing vocals. So he always brings up of an idea, hey, why don't you sing it this way? So, I mean, we don't, we don't have egos in the band. Mm-mm. So we all say, all right, if you like the way that sounds, I mean, what yeah, if you like? in your song, all, all three of you jumped in during the mm-hmm. Sail Away, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sail Away, yeah. So uh, we all jumped in on his one. So I don't like it when anybody jumps in on my song. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, bro, that's not working, no, bro. No, You're no, like, no, 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 no. Right when you start, no, I don't think that works. Let's stop. Hold on. <laughs> well, actually, no, because I'm um, louder. Yeah. No, because uh, on my song, I think that mine was the last one to come in. So, I mean, if anything, these guys will jump on on something. Or I'll say, hey, why don't you follow me up on the line on this? So, yeah, like I said, we got no egos. I like the way all these guys sing. So. Do you? Oh, go on, no, go on. I was gonna say the tracks flowed really well. Like they were pretty much the same um, uh, BPM. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we definitely worked on that too. We like uh, make sure the keys are sim- uh, not s- similar, relative keys, and like tempos and all that stuff. We kind of just, you know, glued everything. But I think that order is works specifically. We couldn't we mm-hmm. couldn't start with the last song and then you know it would be a little too weird. But mm-hmm. we definitely worked on it and. and that medley is only like what a couple of weeks old. So. Yeah, and what helps out is I mean we all have a, a music background, so we all know our music lingo. If we say hey, you know, do a minor on this or something, switch it up, we already know what we're doing. So yeah, yeah that helps. Beautiful flow. That shit was just dope, and a one of a kind for the Brothers Bear fans. Yeah, I hope you guys yes. enjoyed that shit because that was ooh, that was fucking. Musical candy, dude. I had I had uh, goosebumps pretty much the whole time. Man. I, I see a, pe- uh, a puddle down there. So <laughs> I'm, glad, I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> no, I swear. When you guys right, oh, went right into the second sad, song, sad. I was just like, oh, there was this like, holy, oh, wait. the fact that I know you guys and I'm, I went to school with both of you guys. Like, man, these guys are making me proud. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you like feel like a father. Yeah, like, oh, like, you know, they done well. You know, that'll do, pig. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're doing something. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> they kept going. So, so how many uh, songs are you guys planning on doing for this EP? The um, new one? Uh, mm-hmm. six? six. The up and coming. Yeah, the concept well, one. We'll all sing uh, one song each. I'm, uh, I just showed them my new song today, and they enjoyed it. So, I mean, pretty much we're going to do what we did on the last EP. I, I bought like a A-track a long time ago, and we use it. So for the next com- uh, next couple of months, we'll just be recording the new stuff. And then once we feel confident with it, we'll just go down to DOB mm-hmm. with Larry Ramirez on Loaded Bomb Records. Loaded and we'll Bomb. just go out. Shout out to Larry. Uh, we'll go out there and just try to hash it out all on one day again. So uh, if it worked the first time, it's going to work the second time. <laughs> so um, you guys enjoyed all three of them. So yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody else will enjoy them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys would sound great on cassette tape. No, you know what the funny thing uh, is? Final too. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, I say cassette tape because that uh, like you know all the little kids are like, oh yeah, cassette tapes are cool. Yeah. <laughs> and that's coming back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, when uh, Steve and I started, and we had a, a our drummer a long time ago, about ten years ago, 
Uh, we just put a mic in the middle. We hooked it into a, a big old uh, boom box and press record on the cassette. Hey. And yeah, so if yeah. you want us on cassette, uh, we, we got some of that. Yeah. So there's a lot of feedback. Way ahead like, of you, bro. There, there's like a <laughs> trucks, uh, trucks uh, honking and you hear the palatero in the background. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so we, we, got you, we got you there on that. We'll bring a cassette Part of the next song, time. dude. There you go. He's like, no, that's a sample. We just put that yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man, that's a pretty no. good sample. Hey, 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 you got to get that guy on the shows now, too. Like, you hear in the background, Elotes, yeah, Elotes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elotes, what the fuck? That was, yeah. the that was the title track of our first song, Elotes. <laughs> Elotes. It really feels at home with that track right there. Uh, Elotes Elote audition. <laughs> song's about corn. That's what it is. The first one's Elote, con mantequilla. <laughs> <laughs> Con queso, con chile, yeah. and then con limón. That's the whole album right there, dude. <laughs> you know, chicharones, that's the bonus song. <laughs> Don't trademark that. I think we might use it. Yeah, there you go, dude. See, there you go, dude. The, the cover is just an elote, elote, like when you guys eating it. Like, eh? I don't know why, but I just imagine what, like, when you were talking about that, like, the if you guys would have done that as, like, an actual EP to have the... I believe you did. I know my brother has it, but when we took pictures uh, on a horse... Like how they used to walk around the neighborhood, mm -hmm. yeah, and just have that as your image, as your EP, That'd like funny. image right there. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb you sunset. Should. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> <laughs> that, should, that should be the cover of your of your of your right there, dude. Your vinyl cover on a pony, on a just on a pony. rough enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on a pony eating guys corn, now, dude. Yeah, like that. You should be eating corn, like one in front of the other, like, like sitting behind, holding each other, like this with the corn. <laughs> 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 rough enough, dude. That's it. <laughs> Instead of Abbey Road with uh, the Beatles, us holding corn. Yeah, dude. <laughs> walking down the sunset. street. Yeah, down Julian. sunset. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fucking bad, dude. All right. Well, we're getting close to break, but I want to ask, when it comes to writing music, is it, I mean, because, fuck, I don't know, dude. Do you guys write the music first, like the actual, like, tunes, or you're writing the lyrics first, and then you add, like, well, how is it done when you're writing lyrics like, do you have the music and you're like, fuck, you know, I'm going to add lyrics to that. Or is it the other way around? It's a, it's a give and take. I mean, if yeah. uh, usually like today I introduced them a uh, new song of mine and I was just humming along the lyrics. Or if I like a lyric and I want to put it in a song, I just infuse it. So it's a, it's a little bit of both. So it's both. So yeah. you'll like probably come up with something. You'll be like on your guitar and then yeah. you're like, fuck, I like that, you know, and then you just come up with lyrics. Or it's right. the other way around. Like, dude, I have these lyrics. Mm -hmm. And then one of you would hear it and you're like. Hey, that sounds good, and then you just mix it. Okay, yeah. so it's both then. Yeah, and a lot of times too, I find that like, when depending on how you write it, because there's there's two ways. There's like you write the music or the lyrics first. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I feel that like um when you write the lyrics first and then the music, it's more it gets it gets more work because you're trying to relate to the lyrics. Oh. Than, whereas like you know when you do the music and then you do the lyrics, you could be like, all right, let's talk about fucking. Vegas, I don't know, you know, just like anything, you know, like corn or whatever, a lot of like that, was, that was a pod right there, let's talk about fucking, you just left it for a bit, you're like, okay, <laughs> rough enough, right? And then you said Vegas, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and corn, so now I'm getting more confused. Yeah, right? <laughs> right anything, fucking you know. corn in Vegas. <laughs> now that's the concept if I ever heard one. Right? <laughs> fucking corn in Vegas, there you go, dude. <laughs> All right, well, we're actually going to be going to break, so when we return, we're going to have more with rough enough. Rough. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna we'll get roughed up. More. Yeah, Shorty's gonna get on his knees. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> and perform. No. I'm just <laughs> and that's an exclusive. Play. Loaded. Right <laughs> Loaded. And end with release. All right, ladies and gentlemen. When we return, more with Rough Enough in studio with the Brothers Bear Podcast live on Rant Radio Network. Oh yeah. Been in an accident? Then you need your vehicle professionally repaired. That's exactly what you get when you bring your vehicle to Greg's Auto Body Repair. Three quotes within minutes. We will provide everything you need for a hassle-free auto body repair, from an accurate estimate to working with your insurance company. We will get your vehicle to its pre-accident condition as soon as possible. Greg's Auto Body has been serving Los Angeles County and local cities since 1970. Call us at 562-789-1300. The 
Let's know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Sat Nice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Located in Monrovia, California, Mount Sierra College prepares highly skilled graduates for careers in management, information technology, media arts, and game arts. Transfer earned credits or start right after high school and earn a bachelor's degree in four years or less. Combine industry-driven, hands-on small classes with your general education units. Mount Sierra College. Invest in yourself. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AGR and Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AGR and Associates, making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www.hrrealtors.com. With the track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. Do we have your attention? When it comes to tequila, two things matter. Heart and passion never compromising integrity for mass production number one tequila delivers the goods taste the heart and passion of mexico in every bottle we make it right we make it fun superior tequila there's only number one there's only number one there's only number one that needs to get noticed your ideas need a great website and at Infuse, we build simple, clean, and efficient websites. We believe that even the wildest ideas should come to life in a beautiful way. We build responsive sites, e-commerce sites, and even help with business email setup and search engine optimization. Every great idea needs a great website. Start your new look today. Check us out at www.infuse.com. That's www.enfuse.com. Or call us at 800-542-4783. Again, that's 800 800- 542-4783 and Fuse, we get it done. It's one thing to own a business, it's another to promote it. That's why thousands of business owners rely on Monster Marketing Group. Design, print, mail, custom mailers, all for as little as 29 cents delivered. That includes posting. Send to a neighborhood, zip code, or an entire city with just a simple call 888-49-MONSTER, you can easily promote your business, sales, events, grand openings, send coupons, and much more. Your mail delivers in as little as five days. No dealing with the mailing list or paperwork. Monster Marketing does all the heavy lifting. Get started now by calling 888-49-MONSTER or go to monstermg.com. Monster Marketing Group. We deliver. We give you results. We can prove it. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar & Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continue to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation, so he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar & Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar & Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Brothers Bear Podcast live on the Rant Radio Network. Don't go anywhere, kiddies. You wouldn't want to make the Joker sad, would you? <laughs> Ah, 
We are, you know, we gotta give a shout out right there to DJ Slim, or how does that go? DJ Slim. DJ Slim. So if you ever wonder who creates those cool little intro automatics, like right now that what you saw with the fish and the one before that that looked very San Andreas, gotta give a huge shout out to DJ Slim. Yes. Beautiful, bro. Awesome. Beautiful. Yes. And Actually, then... while we're on shout outs, we got a special shout out. <gasps> oh yeah. That's so special. Extremely special. Special shout out to the Cack Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. George. George Velasco. Where are you? Yeah, he's out there watching on his PC. He's rocking it. And his <laughs> in his in his boxers <laughs> with his tank top and Adidas. The sambas. He's butt, butt, drinking butt ice. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably laughing now. He's like, ah! oh, man. I could hear him from Quentin there right now, dude. He's trying to look for a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> and then, right. Alan, do you have the, the images? Uh, 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 this is, uh, there's one of us actually on stage. I That was the one thing. Our, our, our resident guy who tends to do the photography, the video for us, uh, he, he wasn't able to, to be out there for us that night. So I, I totally forgot to put someone like, hey, take photos for us. But this was us on stage at Heidi Ho Comics. We were there. <laughs> Uh, so once again, a uh, big shout out. We're going to be doing it again. We're going to be there. We're going to be doing it again. Um, you know, we, uh, for, for those of you who weren't there, Shweddy belted out some care. I, I posted little clips. He did some, uh, hotel California and creep. Uh, and creep. Yeah. So <laughs> there's a lot that goes on, ladies and gentlemen, uh, at the, at the, at this show, you know, at the, watching us live, it's it, you know, right now I, I get you're watching us live, but being in the audience in the studio with us, it was it was a freaking you know, there amazing. There was some crowd participation. I mean, of course, we did get to the prizes to give out. You know. Yes. Um, what did you guys think of my karaoke? It's it was a, it was amazing. Oh, it, yeah. it, like I said, we have the footage. Uh, people was posting it out there. People liked it. They I thought gave it was it a like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then and then what's what's cool too is that when you come to our show, you know, we have the raffles. We give away the raffles. So, you know, they have the it, it's your choice, you know, you pay the $5, you also get, you know, a bag of chips uh and and a soda. So when you go in, you're you're like, you know, some places they'll be like, I got to pay like 5 bucks just to get a goddamn drink, you know, with us. It's like <laughs> yeah. you get the drink and the chips, you know, when you buy a raffle ticket and all of that. And then also too, a uh, big shout out to my girlfriend. She made a ton of cupcakes. Oh, they were delicious. So, delicious it, so it was delicious. awesome that, you know, we had that. We had cupcakes. You know, chips, drinks, and then just there, good time, great show, sweaty killed, you know, so it, it was a fun time. So we'll be doing it again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Heidi Ho Comics. Uh, Hi so yeah, so just wanted to give that shout out to them. So Shots. once again, thank you to uh, who's, you know, there's our sponsors, Heidi Ho Comics. We love you guys so much. Oh, I love the stuff that I bought too. Oh yeah, you oh, guys went all like shit, afterwards, man. all crazy. They're like little shit. kids, they're like, oh. I got some. Oh my God, I want this and I want that. <laughs> Yeah, almost forgetting that we were in a comic book shop, so we were like, oh, oh okay, we got to do the show first, and then we started looking around. <laughs> and it's like three or four blocks away from um, the pier, too, Santa oh, Monica nice. Pier. Yeah. That like, shit was dope. It's close to the promenade. Uh, actually, right after the show, uh, when we were done, I, I took off to the beach real quick. <laughs> 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 I ran to the ran to the to the ocean, all like crazy status. I'm like, ah, I want some water. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were there to see that shit, dude. Yeah. That would have been bad. It was a lot of work though. I was really tired and I got a headache off of it. It seemed like a good idea at first, huh? And then yeah. when you were running, and then after that, I was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you like running all like slowly taking off your clothes, like in Jazzy, or about to hop in there? <laughs> Carl's just like all like late night, like fuck, I don't want to go. And you're all swimming out there, and something tugs your leg, and you're all getting dragged. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. I don't know. This one, Jaws, do the intro. <laughs> all right, go for it, Schwitz. All right, man. Let's do song of the week. Right here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Song of the week. Ready? It's not playing. I can hear it. I can no, hear I can it. Hear it's it. very yeah. low, dude. It's for the dogs out there. You're fired, DJ Slim. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you, dude, so much. God, dude, I, if I could shout out every time for you, bro. At heart. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for Shweddy's huh? Song of the Week. All right. Um, I like I love this picture right here. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you guys. <laughs> I was looking for something like, you know, mm, but then I came up with this. <laughs> I didn't get it at first, and now I got it. You get it? Yeah. Right? 
I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember that in the movie? What in the movie? Yeah, yeah. Um, Nemo. He's like something about uh, see an enemy. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Drake has a song called I don't know what the fuck it's called, but <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics go, "I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies." Oh yeah. <laughs> see the correlation. <laughs> Coral. 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 Right, we're like it was an achievement. Like, fuck, dude, you're gonna live this forever. Yeah. Like, old man, you'd be like your kids. Like, oh, you know, one day, man, you know, coral. Oh, man. This one was a stretch. Um, the ones that I usually come out with, they're like, oh yeah, I get it. But somehow I was like, I think I have to explain it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like writing in my 6'4 or 64. <laughs> that, that was my favorite. Dude. Oh, that was a classic. <laughs> All right, usually. Um, I do song of the weeks, random uh, artists, whatever I'm into, whatever mm-hmm. I like. It's not really to advertise. It's just, you know, I like that shit and want to, you know, hey, check it out kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. But we have a special guest here, Rough Enough, yes. and you guys just fucking killed just a <laughs> second ago. And I would love for you guys to kill it once again. Yes. So I asked you guys during break, hey, uh, you know, please. <laughs> Would he you was like be getting so down kind? too, putting your zipper. <laughs> yeah. okay. like, no. yeah, they're like, no, no, no. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going too far with that. Huh? I like it. Oh, all right, right on. <laughs> we learned that Schwedy is now rough enough. Yeah. <laughs> I have what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> He's rough. Enough. So yeah, I asked you guys uh, to to perform again. You guys are gonna do three tracks. Um, don't tell us, surprise us, right? Yes. Or tell us. What do you guys? Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. because when I was hitting you guys up, you're like, oh yeah, we'll just come up with something. Oh, we'll learn the song in like a second. <laughs> All like crazy, you know, professionals and so I'm like, fuck. <laughs> it's that easy. I wish that's just dope. But yes, so. We're gonna perform uh, three songs from our our EP that we released right here. Oh, there no, it is. No. Sweats right there. It's loaded all over me. <laughs> Rough enough. There's a back loaded. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh look, see, there's right there con el los elotes. the fingers. <laughs> That's me. Cover up the bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. See, right there, dude. You so don't want the glare. Like. Are you guys gonna play any tracks off of this? Yes, we're gonna do three tracks off of that. Three more. Is this one mine? Yeah, it's for you guys. Sure. This is the numbered one. I'm gonna sell this shit on eBay. It's gonna be signed. Dude. It's gonna be signed. <laughs> so which ones are there? There's Rundown, Shack, Tell Me, Loaded, Dragon Bridge, Four Seasons, Opus One. Uh, one quick question before you guys set up. Um, I love this question. My favorite part of making music is naming the songs. <laughs> I have made music. My music shit. <laughs> no one's hey, ever hey, heard hey, it. We, we made actually two tracks. Yeah, we have. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. Everything that I've done, though, I've named. You know, I, I've slept for like several hours. I named it. You know, it was an audio <laughs> clip. <laughs> Anyways, um, so how hard is it for you guys to to stick to a to a track like a a name of a song? Actually, when we were talking before about how we we do the um, red songs and stuff. Actually, one of my ways of doing it is I start with the title first, mm-hmm. and I feel that sometimes that gives you something to talk about or write about. So it's for me sometimes can be the other way around, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and you get that a lot. Uh, that's like a uh, like a class classic kind of thing to do. Yeah. Like a uh, Bob Dylan, anything that he sings, mm-hmm. his title tracks are usually the first, the first thing first that line, he says. Yeah. <laughs> 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 which is dope you guys are bringing that aesthetic like all those different types of aesthetics bringing it into what you guys sound and it's it's authentic though at the same time like it's it's like crazy like time travel type shit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i feel all like you know an outlaw ready to fucking blast some foods like <laughs> or however did back then <laughs> well we're at that the mark yeah so, so if you guys can set up all right yeah there you go i just want to point out is like from uh, as you guys are setting up we're looking at the pictures right here in the back you know, we got uh, both you guys giving us the hard, like, we're, we're rough enough. But then you got the smirk. <laughs> yeah, like, you're all laughing. Like, the rest I'm of them, they're like. Their faces. <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you could really quickly try to show it. Oh. Let's see. There's yeah. the back, ladies and gentlemen. 
It's a little bit blurry. It's probably hard to see, but he's like smirking up on top <laughs> while the other two guys are like all. Serio pedo. Yeah, they're like, and then look at this guy, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So they're going to be setting up. They're going to be giving us three tracks off of this album. Uh, this, or would it be EP, you said? EP. Right, EP. A uh, 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 demo called Loaded with Rough Enough, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to close out the show with them. So I'll say it now. That's another episode in the bag, but they're going to close us out with some tunes. Woo. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, when you're ready. Let's get away from this place and turn our world upside down. Let's talk about the golden ages in a time when we try to get wrong. Top lights, even on a one to kick our skins. We can dance tonight in the end.
third you left town in a hurry Now my records play louder in the night Tell me how did you lose all your glory When a shining star belongs up in the sky And a gunning 
and a running, free willing, and a running, bootlegging, and a running. done for but somewhere else two others begin and he's running from the G-man they'll be running from the G-man they'll be running away from Johnny Law Yeah. So, do you know the Ren and Stimpy theme? Because we got two minutes. Two minutes already. You remember it? Oh, you don't know. Summertime blues. <laughs> <laughs> is that the ABCs? <laughs> no, that shit was dope, guys. That shit was beautiful. Yeah, seriously. There you go. Oh, there you go, Steve. That's it. Oh. <laughs> well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, rough enough. Uh, big thanks to you guys yeah, coming you guys. in studio. Thank you. Seriously. 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 Beautiful. That's uh, my high school team. friends. Yes, yeah, Carlos's high school friends. We're loaded. They play three tracks right now from there. Freaking, it was amazing. You guys awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for thank having you. us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a uh, minute and a half. You guys have any uh, shout outs? Any anybody you want to thank? Um, anything coming new? Or uh, I'd like to thank like Larry Ramirez right? from uh, Loader Bomb Records. I'd like to thank Moonlight Trio. We'll be playing with them this Saturday. I'd like to thank Inazuma and Dex and Tonalos. We played with them last Saturday. So thank you guys. Thank you guys yeah. most of all. Yep. Oh, thank you. Of course. And you guys are on Facebook and Instagram as well, right? Yep. At it's rough enough. It's rough enough. It's rough enough. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely rough enough. Because rough enough was taken. So like, <laughs> yeah. It's rough enough. You can, you can follow <laughs> on our Instagram. I tagged you guys. So if you want to find them easily, just go to our post. If awesome. you're watching at home, and you'll you'll get it either any of our our social medias. It, you're all tagged on them. So cool. if you guys cool. want to find them, follow them. And you guys got that show this Saturday night. Yes. You know. So once Worth again. It. Come down, free. Like, honestly, thank you guys for coming in. Yeah, yeah. it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. That show was After dope. two years, <laughs> make the return, and it was just fucking. We'll, we'll be back in two years, I guess. Yeah, four years, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, we, we planned this back in June, and it's. Uh, I'm finally glad to yeah. it happened today. So, yeah, thank you. So once thank again, you. thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, where well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, we had rough enough in studio. I'm your host, Sanch, and as always, I'm joined by Carlos Mandrano. Shit, yeah. yeah, and that's another episode in the bag. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Woo! Yeah.